Raise your hand. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Mike, when you look at the game, what did you see as the deciding factors in the outcome? Um, you know, I, we just didn't defend tonight. Um, you know, if we if we defended like we know we can, uh, we could have won the game. But, um, you know, we, we were late, you know, to pretty much everything. So I think that was the uh, deciding factor of the game. Christos Saltis, Sport DNA. Michael, how painful for the for the game or for your tonight's game was uh, the uh, were the rebounds tonight, and what would you like to change about your effort overall to the next games? Um, you know, I think we didn't we didn't get some loose balls that we wanted to get, um, some long rebounds. Um, you know, they just out hustled us, they outworked us, and uh, you know we got to change that going into next game. Uh, we got to be that aggressive team. We got to you know get those loose balls and um, be better on the glass. Dan Savage. Mike, your team scored 120 points tonight, hit over 23s. What did, what did you see from the offense and what were you able to get going in that area of the game? Oh, uh, yeah, you know, our offense was the problem. You know, we, you know, moved the ball pretty well. Uh, we, you know, we hit some some tough shots. Um, you know, Ev was great. Pooch was great. Um, you know, T. Ross got it going. I got it going myself a little bit. Um, you know, we were just... You know, we were able to just, you know, that, you know, it was a night where, you know, we were making tough shots. And, um, you know, unfortunately, like I said, we didn't, you know, do well on the other end. Roy Perry, Orlando Sentinel. Mike, you mentioned being, you know, being late on defense a few times. But, you know, when you're trying to slow down Luca, how, how difficult of a challenge is it when you've got a guy who's able to not only find teammates, but he's able to just play the angles like, you know, like nobody else really can in the league? Yeah, I mean, he's, you know, obviously he's great. You know, he's a, you know, really talented guy. And he does a lot of things for them on the floor. Um, you know, the biggest thing I can say is, you know, we can't really, you know, let him get going early. You know, he gets going early then, you know, throughout the game. It's, you know, he, he's tough to, he's tough to stop. You know, he gets the step backs going in, you know. You know, he's seeing, you know, any, any shot looks good to him at that point. So, um, you know, the biggest thing I think is just to slow him down early and, you know, we didn't, you know, you know, we gave him everything that he wanted, so we didn't really make it too tough on him. Alex Fleming, Florida Sun. The offense was there tonight, and you had excellent defense tonight, Mr. Williams. Um, bench productivity was probably the determining factor. What do you feel was the change of momentum between the third and the fourth quarter? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. I'd, I'd have to go back and watch. Um, you know, I, I know they hit, you know, some big shots and then we, you know, we had some costly turnovers, but, um, you know, I'm not sure I, I I'd have to go back and watch, to be honest. Dan Savage, OrlandoMagic.com. Mike, you guys got, got one more before the break, you know, you know, how good would it be to, to, to try to get that one and, and head into the all-star break, uh, with a win under your belt? Uh, that's a big game for us. Um, you know, going into the, you know, break with a win. It's uh, it's always good. <clears throat> we get to, you know, build momentum a little bit. Um, you know, it's a, it's a win on our record, gets us back in the win column. So, uh, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna play hard. Um, our mind's gonna be focused on the game, uh, not on vacation. And uh, we're just gonna have to do the right things to to win. You know, Atlanta's a good club, and you know we got to come out ready to play. Okay. Any final questions? Okay. Thanks, Mike.